Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an MSI GF63 Thin Gaming Laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside it safely, access your heatsink assembly, your fans, your CPU. Uh, this should help you out if you need to clean it or replace a component or even reapply thermal paste or cooling paste. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's quite a few screws on this bottom case. You have four along the bottom edge here of the screen, three along this edge, three over here, one top left, and this last one here in the middle. So you're gonna remove all of those screws. After you do, you'll take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your cases a little bit much. So a small flat plastic pry tool, go all the way across the seam of your bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up from the rest of your computer. Now, while you're working on that guys, a couple things to shout out. When I'm working on computers, I have them sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or wearing an anti-static bracelet can go a long way to limiting the chances of damaging your computer. In addition to those type of supplies, any sort of pry tools or screwdrivers or anything like that you need for your project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where you can see some of the things that I use in my shop. That link will also include all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model laptop, including the RAM. Last thing to shout out about taking off this bottom case, you may notice there's an HDMI port on the back side. That's going to make it kind of a pain to get that side up. You got to make sure you get it around up and over that HDMI port. So super sorry. I didn't design it. It makes it kind of a pain. But after you get your bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before going deeper into the computer, I always unplug or remove my main computer battery. Now this battery, instead of being screwed on, it's glued on. Um, that kind of complicates it because I wasn't able to get this plug out without removing the battery. There's not a lot of room here. They didn't leave a lot of space. Um, and I put a pry tool right into that groove right there in the middle and kept trying to push it out. But again, because there wasn't a lot of room, I wasn't able to, I had to physically remove the entire battery. Now, because this battery is glued down and not screwed down, that presents another challenge. You have two options to remove it. You can either muscle it out, in which case be careful you don't bend it too much. You could break the battery or you use a heat gun. Now, heat guns and batteries are an explosive danger. So make sure your battery is completely discharged before attempting to use a heat gun on it. Also, make sure the heat gun is several inches above the battery and don't keep it in one place too long. So I had to go all the way over, down, up, down, heat it up, get that glue underneath a little soft. And then I used an old credit card or similar tool to slide under it to get that battery up. But again, a little bit of a pain in this model computer. So now that the battery has been unplugged or removed, we're safer to proceed more into the computer. This is your heatsink assembly right here, guys. This is your fan. Your heatsink assembly comes from the vent and goes all the way over here, over your CPU and your GPU. Your fan has these three screws right here that need to come out. But also, guys, if you notice on your computer, the LCD cable is interwoven in your fan. So in order to take this fan off after removing those screws, you need to unplug your LCD cable here. Now these type of ports right there for these type of ribbon cables, they're very easy to break. I'm gonna play you now a clip on how to manipulate these types of ribbon cable connections. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful. Take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, and pop it up like that. And then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, 
you're most likely not going to be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore. So be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. Okay, so once this cable is out of the way, once this fan is unscrewed, all you have left to unscrew to do your, the rest of your heat sink are these three screws here and these four screws here. So if you're here to clean this out, guys, make sure you blow out or vacuum out your fan really well. Make sure you get your vent. And if you're having overheating issues and you want to change out the thermal paste on your heat sink, this is what you're looking at after that heat sink comes up. So you have some old, most likely dried out thermal paste on either one of these chips and on the underneath of your heat sink assemblies that sit on top of here. Um, if that's why you're here guys and you wanna do this, I will have a video link above. I'll also put it below in the description. It's a quick tutorial on how to apply thermal paste correctly. You want to clean off all the old stuff. You, you don't wanna put new thermal paste on top of old thermal paste. And then you wanna reapply not too much. So again, there'll be a video link tutorial below in the description. I'll also include it in the end video after this video is done playing. So after this video is done, there'll be another video that, that pops up that you can click on to start and I'll make sure that it's that one. So that's how you would access the heat sink, um, your CPU, your fan. I hope this tutorial helped you get into your computer. If you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question, I do try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time.